so number 34, um, I've taken the liberty of writing down um, the equation. And so what I'm going to do to get rid of these fractions is I'm going to multiply um, by all the denominators. So if I multiply all three of them, all three of these denominators, when I multiply it by this term, what happens is the x plus 5 goes away and it picks up the other two. That's pretty much what's happening. So um, I will have 3, and then I will have 2x plus 1 times the x minus 2. If you do that to get rid of the fraction, if you multiply all three of them times this middle guy, it will lose this and pick up these other two. So plus 2, x plus 5, x minus 2. And then the same thing over here, we'll lose this one and pick up these. So equals 4 times x plus 5, and then 2x plus 1. Alright, so now we're going to do distributive property, uh, simplify like terms and solve. So I'm going to distribute uh, 2x and x, leaving the 3 on the outside. That will give me 2x squared minus 4x plus x. So that's minus 4x plus x. So that's minus 3x minus 2. That's what we get there. Plus 2xx is x squared minus 2x plus 5. So plus 3x. And then minus 10. And then on the other side, we would get 4x times 2x would give me 2x squared plus x plus 10x, so plus 11x plus 5. Alright, so I'm going to distribute the numbers now. That would give me 6x squared minus 9x minus 6 <coughs> and then 2x squared plus 6x minus 20 equals 8x squared plus 44x plus 20 alright combine like terms that will give me 8x squared minus 3x minus 26 equals 8x squared plus 44x plus 20 so the fact that we have 8x squared on both sides when you subtract they will cancel out and then I will add 3x subtract 20 so that would give me negative 46 equals 47x divide by 47 so you get negative 46 over 47 equals x so that will be your solution negative 46 over 47d um, this one wants us to use transformations of the graph determine domain range horizontal asymptotes so when we have um, exponential functions uh, asymptote is zero but the plus four will shift it up four and so if I'm looking at um, options my asymptote should be positive four so that would be A or D um, exponential curves and goes up so your domain is all real which both A and D have that and then the range would be since the negative your graph is going to get going down it's going to be turned down it will be from negative infinity up to the 4 and A would be the one that matches um, going downward because of the negative gets flipped Right, this one wants us to solve the inequality. So the way
way we solve inequality is we make a number line. They already give us the critical values pretty much. Um, it's almost solved for us. 36. We would do the x plus 3 equals 0, so that would give us x equals negative 3. And then you do the same thing for the x minus 6 equals 0, so that would give you x equals 6. So on the number line, we would negative 3, and then we would have positive 6. I'm going to pick values in between. So let's just use, I'll say negative 5 for this year. Um, then I'm going to check in between these, I'll pick 0, and to the right of this, I'll pick 10. So I'm going to be plugging these numbers in, or imagining plugging them in to this expression. And I want to multiply those two numbers and see if I get less than 0. And if I get less than 0, it's true. If I don't, it's false. So if I were to plug negative 5 right here, negative 5 plus 3 would give me a negative 2. So it would give me a negative number. I don't care about the two, just I'm a negative number. If I were to plug negative 5 here, negative 5 minus 6 would also give me a negative number. Negative times a negative is a positive. A positive number will not be less than 0. So this is false. I don't want this section. If I were to plug in 0, that would give me positive, zero would give me negative. So I'll get a positive in the first group, a negative in the second. If I multiply positive times a negative, that gives me a negative, and negative number will be um, less than zero. And then if we plug in 10, 10 would be positive here and positive here. So if I have positive times positive, that equals positive, that is not less than zero, so I don't want that. So I want the interval from three, negative three to six, and because we have equality, we're going to include negative three and six. So B. This one wants us to find the real solutions of the square root equation. So we would do 37 square root of 6x minus 5 equals 5. Alright, so we're going to square both sides to get rid of the square root. Um, that would give us 6x minus 5. When you square that, that gives you 25. Add 5. 6x equals 30. Divide by 6. x equals 5. And I believe if you plug that in, 6 times 5 is 30. 30 minus 5 is uh, 25. Square to 25 equals 5. So your solution x equals 5.